Hi, I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and we are going to learn German with music. And today I think we have the most famous song of all the history of German music, 99 Luftballons from Nena from 1983, 1983. So this song quite famous and I think 99 Luftballons in English, you know the translation, 99 light balloons. Okay, and now I like to give you some information about the song and how can you use it to improve your German. Okay, first of all, we have here a picture and that's actually the cover picture of the song from 1983, so quite an old one. And we'll see here in the center uh, Nena and uh, with four musicians to form their band. Okay, but the name is Nena. Okay, Nena actually was born in 1960, 1960, 1960, and she is a big, big star in the pop music in Germany. Not only in Germany, maybe in the world as well. And uh, why is this song so famous? And in my opinion, it's so famous because it's a song against the war. Because in this time, we have like the Cold War and it was a quite um, important topic. And this song was, has a really, really nice lyrics against the war. And therefore, it was not just number one in Germany or in Switzerland or in Austria. It was also number one in Japan, in Australia, in Canada. And it also was number two with the German version of the song in the United States. So pff, quite famous uh, and quite successful for a German song with German lyrics. Okay, later then uh, we had also an English version, but the German version was really, really uh, successful. So, what do we learn with this song? Mm, it's interesting because this song doesn't use perfect for the past tense. It uses more preteritum. Like when we read the book, we will find a lot of preteritum and not perfect. Because perfect we use when we talk. But here we have a lot of good examples for preteritum. And so you will improve your preteritum skills you know, of verbs. And uh, the song obviously talks about Geschichte und Politik, history and politics. No? And in total we will learn more than 100 words, in total we will learn 122 words, 122 Wörter. And the song includes a lot of prepositions. So every time useful to see good examples with prepositions. So get the lyrics and you will see uh, a lot of prepositions. Okay. Now, that's uh, my favorite part here to present the video. What is my favorite part of the song? And that's actually quite funny. Because maybe I listened to the song one million times, or I don't know, in my life. And I always thought that in the song they sing Streichelten Benzinkanister. It means to pet, to pet a gasoline can. Okay? So, to pet a gasoline can. But actually, the correct lyric is Streichholz und Benzinkanister. That means a match to light a fire and a can of uh, gasoline. Okay? So, actually, the, the correct way is Streichholz und Benzinkanister and not my way, Streichelten Benzinkanister. Quite funny, but now I know it and now when I sing it, I sing it the right way. So, here we have three more songs of Nena. They are quite famous. The first one is Leuchtturm. It's like a lighthouse. Uh, irgendwie, irgendwo, irgendwann. Somehow, somewhere, some when. And nur geträumt. Just dreamed. Okay, so now the big question. How can we use this song to improve your German? In my course, first of all, you try to sing the song by watching and listening the original video. But then you will also try to sing the song by uh, on video and seeing the lyrics. And then we have the really important part to study everything actively con Quizlet, with Quizlet. So you will study all the lyrics, all the vocabulary actively with Quizlet 
until you master everything 100%. And then, yeah, and then you can sing the song everywhere and everywhere you want and enjoy it like you want, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video and if you like, you can share ideas for German songs uh, to learn German and I try to add those songs to my course. So thank you very much and see you soon and now enjoy the song.